motions they are present wherever we look. Formed by the rotation of a triangle, it combines its firm and economical properties with the advantages of the circle, which is advantageous by not leaving any little free place to chance in its tessellation. The hexagons complement each other perfectly and form endless solid patterns. The new cyber-shaped carbon, based on the first observations made, is a wood with the intention of helping, due to its geometric shape, to guarantee a greater sweet spot, which is a place where a combination of factors results in a maximum response for a given amount of effort. Another concept is the location where the object being struck, usually a ball, absorbs the maximum amount of forward momentum available and bounces away from the racket, bat, stick, etc. with a speed greater than if it were struck at any other point on the racket, bat or stick. So the greater the sweet spot in this wood, the surface of hitting with greater control and rotation increases, this for players with racket balls above 45 degrees. Another component that needs to be reviewed is carbon fiber, which increases the rigidity in the material, therefore, its deformation or elasticity will be less than with another fiber, which would increase the shock, and therefore greater vibration response towards the hand, than that. It is liked by players without a high kinesthetic or tactile level. Due to its hexagonal shape, the wood makes the center of mass get closer to the center of the racket due to the distribution of the mass, but it makes the center of percussion move away from that area determined by the sweet spot. Therefore, this type of racket can be popular for European, African, and Latin players for its type of hitting biomechanics, emphasized more on drive and combined hits such as side spin topspin, since they hit at the point of the racket in the geometric center of the ball up.